Some of the questions have also asked how I clean my cases after I've used them uh, with black powder. Now, whilst these are not obviously 4570 cases, they are 44 Magnum cases that I've been using at the range. Uh, my cleaning process for these or anything else is the same. They're going to come out when they're clean and look like that. Uh, I'll just take you through the process of how I get them to look like that. So what I've got is 100 uh, once fired cases, or sorry, not once fired, they've been fired a few times. But I use a, a ceramic media, which has been professed on numerous occasions as being the best that there is. Um, available from a company in Australia called Shell Lap. Can't remember the website, but if you type in Shell Lap, you'll get um, you get the right uh, uh, people. Uh, then all I add is approximately one tablespoon or teaspoon of citric acid. Any old detergent will do, so I use Omo Small and Mighty, and I just give it a bit of a squirt. All you're after is enough there just to, to make it um, make it like detergent. Uh, add your, in this case, exactly 100 fired cases, and then I'm just going to add some water. Once I've added the water, I'm going to put the lid on and put them on my Thumbler's B Thumbler, and I'll come back to that shortly. So I've added my lukewarm water. Uh, I don't want it too hot because the, uh, the pressure of the hot water will, um, uh, will squeeze out past the sides of the, of the thumblers. So I've got just enough water there to cover the cases in the media. That's all I want. Fit the lid, fit him up. And what I'll do is I'll just come back at various stages and I'll show you what it looks like. Usually I'll, uh, I'll change the water uh, once um, if the cases are very dirty. Uh, if they're not very dirty like these ones, I'll probably get away with doing the, um, the cleaning um, in one, in one uh, sitting. So the time's now uh, just after 5 o'clock. These will probably be in here for about 2 hours, maybe a little bit more. And we'll see what they look like when I take them out. Starting to see some colour changes for sure. Okay, you're starting to see them certainly uh, clean up. Coming out very, very clean at the moment. That's um, they're almost probably done actually. Anyway, I'll give them a little bit longer just to finish off and uh, I'll show you the last process which is drying or getting all this um, uh, rubbish out of, the, um, out of the cases and dry them off. It's been an hour and 50 minutes exactly and I've just taken the top off to uh, empty all the, uh, the detergent out. All I use is a colander. All I use is a colander and um, a piece of fly screen. <clears throat> Nothing technical about that. You'll see very quickly that the, um, the brass is very clean. As you can see. Like I said, hour and 50 minutes only. Um, I could have left it in a little bit longer and it would bring the insides to perfectly clean. The only caveat I'll say with this, um, with this ceramic media is that you need to make sure you've got large diameter, large caliber cases. If you're using the small caliber cases, anything smaller than 30 cal, you're going to get the, um, the media uh, compacted inside the case. The other thing is that I leave my primers in if you take the primers out, you may get uh, some of the, the media stuck in the primer hole, but that would be alleviated by getting the next size up media from this one. I ordered this, not really um, uh, measuring it first, and it's just the right size to fit in your primer hole. Probably only 10% of your cases come out with that in there, and it's just a matter of pushing it out with a, uh, a center punch. But from here, give it a clean up, and all I'll do is I'll separate that out, again using the colander, and allow those cases to dry prior to reloading in the normal manner. 
quite an easy process.